Hello dear wonderful friends, welcome here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. It is lunchtime here and we are so hungry. Me and my son Lloyd, we just woke up, we slept in, so then when we woke up, we are very hungry. So I decided I have to prepare a light, healthy lunch for both of us. So I decided I am going to make tuna crocker sandwiches okay what are the very basic ingredients that we have first of all i have here this three different types of uh, canned goods so this is store-bought so first this is century hot and spicy style of tuna flakes in a can okay so this is philippine product and this one it's uh, pink salmon so it's it's salmon and uh, it's canned, so it's just like tuna, but the fish is salmon. Oh, I like this one. So this is spicy Thai chili uh, flake tuna. So what I'm going to do is very, very easy to make. So I will just uh, open this one and we have to be very careful that we will not get hurt of this uh, sharp object. So in this uh, chili, in this uh, type of uh, um, chili, Thai chili tuna flakes, this is very, very delicious. So I will just add some mayonnaise. So approximately two tablespoons of mayonnaise. So that's one tablespoon and another tablespoon so two tablespoons so it depends upon how much mayonnaise you're going to add into your uh into your tuna flakes okay so, like for example this kind of tuna there's water here and there's water that's what we call the brine the brine solution you can always try to uh drain the water so that it's not very very watery so this one it's a little bit runny but that's fine our very basic ingredients are the following i have here this sweet sherry tomatoes and this english um, seedless cucumbers of course we have to wash all our veggies before we're going to add that into our sandwiches these are the ice uh, these are what we call the romaine lettuce and you can use iceberg lettuce you can use spinach as well so these are my cheese flat cheeses that we normally put that into sandwiches and they are wrapped individually <laughs> okay there you go so i have here i will be using my uh, clean shopping board okay so i'll set that aside so my very base um for the sandwich i'm going to use these crackers this is sky flakes uh sky flakes type of crackers and it's not salted it's very good cracker now if you don't this is filipino a product you can always buy this from filipino stores or any asian stores and some other grocery stores uh, the international section they do carry that one if you don't have the access to this kind of crackers no need to you uh, no need to worry there are some other crackers that you can also use like for example this one these are very great crackers so might as well use my product okay what how will be how will we build our sandwiches now friends if you don't have this base for the sandwiches which is the crackers then you can use the bread of your choice so okay let's start building our sandwiches so very very easy okay. so make sure we have to wash our hands properly before making our uh, sandwiches you know to prevent cross contaminations so adding your sandwiches some filling so it depends upon um how much filling you will add into your crackers could it be more so that you will feel that it's um it's so filly <laughs> so just add three of this and then 
Oh, I love cherry tomatoes. I will add three. Okay, let's say three. Three. Okay. So I'll use the small one. Okay, there you go. You can have that one. And then we are going to cut because this is... Uh, um, so we will just cut our some, our cheese okay there you go and then we will add our crackers wow this is very delicious there you go i will build one more uh, sandwich but one is not really enough for me and my son Lloyd. so what we will do is we can add up our lettuce. You can use greens, whatever greens you have. Could it be um, spinach? That's perfectly fine. Just try to do that one. Okay. This is very, very great for uh, snacks for your kids and for your snacks at work. Or you can even have this for your lunch. This is very, very great. Okay, there you go. If you don't have tuna sandwiches, uh, if you don't have tuna can or tuna flakes, no need to worry. Just add chicken or like ch great um, shredded chicken. That's perfectly fine. And you can also add the leftover chicken, leftover turkey, or even um, roast beef sandwiches. You can make that one okay there you go beautiful okay okay so this is very delicious and then what you will do so that it will not be very very messy and going to work and you will have this for your lunch you can probably wrap this in um in paper towel i'll show you i'll get back to you girls ladies let's say you're going to have it uh, wrapped. So just simply wrap it, paper towel or um, table napkins, and then simply just do like that. Make sure you close it properly, but sometimes uh, it's it will get wet. So that's why I put the lettuce uh, to prevent leakage then after that you're going to so tuck that in and um wrap that into ziplock or little plastic wrappers there you go okay mm -hmm. so that and then seal it okay this is very very great for snacks so that's why when you put your tuna filling make sure you have to put this layer so that it will not be very very uh, liquidy i should say it's not gonna wet and it will not soak into your um, lunch bags or something like that so once again wonderful friends thank you very much for watching arnie's kitchen and food creations Stay tuned for more cookings and bakings here at My Little Kitchen. Now, me and Lloyd, it's time for us to have our lunch. Ciao!